with Matt Dion. I have been working here for about two years now, and um, I've recently been appointed to the finish man at RGC. I will be uh, handling all the finishing um, responsibilities of the company. Well, Matt is the one person telephone game to where you'll say something and then it'll get all all mixed up and then it'll get brought across town and then, you know, everybody's in a fight. He's one of the most likable and the most dislikable people in the shop. I open my mouth up a little bit too much, more than usual, more than I should. And uh, that's where these guys get the feeling about what's going on at RDC. He likes to get people sort of fighting with each other and then disappear. That's kind of his thing. Matt is the shit stirrer. If there's ever a problem and it's some sort of thing where somebody has said something about somebody, you get to the bottom, it's always Matt. Matt's a little shit starter. Matt continuously reinvents ways to be fired. I think Matt's always on the line of being fired, but then unfortunately he's good at the work he does. I'm basically the reason these things cost so much and I make these look good. The whole gossip thing, you know, the whole who's getting more than who, the whole who's getting what, who's prima donna. I, I need a collective effort to get past that stuff, you know, because what I'm going to do is remove the, the, the source of that stuff wherever I have to, because it just has to happen now. Like, Matt is, you know, always the butt of every joke here because he's Matt, and, you know, he's the one person who, when we went away together for our big vacation as a group, he's the one guy who got naked and, you know, peed in the hot tub and tried to teabag Bobby. I think he has got, he uh, probably eats a little too much sugar. I think he's got a few other things going. He was running, like, this illegal eBay um, selling Chinese knockoffs of, like, hats and stuff of Adidas. The Homeland Security was calling him, and he didn't realize the severity of it, so finally we told him he had to quit. So I think Matt's probably, uh, on the human-to-chimp scale, I think Matt is somewhere uh, past Bonobo now.